Good night, mate. Fuck off. I'm waiting. 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 Hello and welcome to another episode of the Super Zest Vlog. Now, today we are shooting a good friend of ours, Scott. He has got a sick E30. It has got a E46 M3 in it, so S54. Is it supercharged, Drew? Yeah, supercharged. Yeah, supercharged E46 M3 engine in a little E30. Race car, caged, exactly what we like to see. Now, Scott's a bit late. Is that him right now? Maybe not, no. okay. So, <laughs> <Too quiet. laughs> Scott's a bit late right now, but um, we're meeting him at probably the best place to start shooting an E30, and that is E30 Street. Now this place is owned by a guy called Marco, and we've just pulled up this yard, and it's got the best E30s, and it's full of E30s. It's got E28 right here. We've got a 6 Series behind me. There is some rare stuff here too. This here, one behind me, this E30 Alpina, is the only right-hand drive model ever made, apparently. It was made for a motor motoring journalist who drove it for a year and wrote an article. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let Drew show you what I'm looking at right now with some, some nice cinematics because this place is metal. This is a scene you are greeted with right here. We got E30, got E30. We've got six series, maybe a 635i or something like that. Here is an Alpina, Alpina E30. We've got E28, E30 wagon drift car. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is apparently the only right-hand drive model ever made of these. And I've been looking around this car. It looks pretty mint. It looks absolutely gorgeous. But this car is in to be fully stripped down, repainted. The owner isn't entirely happy with it and he wants absolute perfection. So this car is going to be absolutely mental. So I am not going to pretend I know everything about BMWs. I absolutely don't. I'm just after calling this an E30. It's clearly not. This is an Alpina E21, like a genuine Alpina E21. The steering wheel and all that. Look at this place, man. They've clearly got a couple of paint booths. One in there, so he's getting bodywork. Another one down there, so he's getting bodywork. This place is just mental. Hello. Hello. Now, one of the reasons I love come to somewhere like this that clearly specializes in one particular car and clearly does it over and over again is that talking to these boys, like, you know that they know pretty much everything about E30s and probably old BMWs, because you know, all that stuff transfers from model to model, all that knowledge. Um, but yeah, a specialist place, I guess, like I'm sure you could talk to these boys, I'm sure you could talk to Marco, and he will know everything about these cars. They've got ones in various stages, they've got ones that are sitting up there in shells, hundreds of doors, body panels, all behind a shed. Like, if you need anything E30 related, get yourself down to E30 Street, because this place is mental. Three days later. <laughs> What's that you've got? Made a pit stop. Tuna sandwich, mate. Oh, no crust. <laughs> so yeah, we've got two E30s with more modern chassis engines in them. And, uh, one's very street, one's very track. Let's just see how this unfolds. <laughs> you! <laughs>
Shot me in a cock, but he's stone. Mate, this thing is a fucking animal. We used to do a I mean, 30, like, racing championship series, the suspension on it. Uh -huh. um, but they stopped it and somebody was selling a brand new set, Hubs Everlast. Oh, no way. Uh, so was this from like a spec series of like ethers? Aye, aye, so the, the idea was they all run the same tyres, the same brakes, same Mate. suspension and stuff like that. So, Oh, it was kind of set up, tried testing, proven yeah, yeah. track stuff, so. So this is legitimate race car stuff right here, right? Like. Problem is, if I put the right height up, I turned it once, at a traction track day, and it just bounced all over the road, oh, so. Oh, really? I kind of need to run it that low, eh? We were following you at one point, and you went down a dip, and I said, like, puff of smoke, was that the wheel hitting aye, the, the aye, so it's a bit tight in the aye. The AR ones are a bit better, but the road ones, eh, aye. They said they're just a little bit wider, so. So make me a fucking lot of starts. I am buzzing to get around this thing. Holy shit, this thing is genuinely faster than I thought it would be like, that is scary fast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this for a sight here. Take your pick, track or road. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're always my favourite too. <laughs> so Marco, would you mind giving me a quick rundown of what's on the car? So you were saying already, Tech 2 body kit? Tech 2 body kit, uh, the car was originally a standard colour. Uh -huh. The top end of the car is blood black peril. I've got AVO coilovers on the front, just the separate spring and shock is still in the back. I've got BCs to go on it. Aye. And plenty of others. I say it's got a, there's quite a rare interior in it, the silver grey cloth. Right, the okay. Tech 2 Sport. It's normally a darker grey you get in them. Aye. Uh, it's got the 2.8 engine, line the balance flywheel, uh, 5 speed ZF box, slip diff on it. Uh, it's got a larger throttle body, stuff like that, and it's all remapped. It's got about 230, 240 brake run about that, but. Plenty for a car like that, like. The weight ratio is amazing, you know? Yeah. It's amazing. It's just a lovely thing to look at. And that pearl in the paint is unreal when the sun comes out, like. Ah, you get the red flag. I see a lot of people have seen it. Again, a lot of people just think it's the piano black with the silver. Aye. Uh, but if you've seen it in the sun, then you're one of the lucky ones, basically. And you were saying you masked that line of one there, like first first shot. Aye, right along it, aye. Yeah, for the two tone. Aye, aye. You do not see any of them two tone like it. It's just one of the ones. You, you just, you just, I had a vision and went for it. Aye. As I say, as I, as I say to you, the, the amount of humble pie that I debate was. <laughs> unreal. Aye, boys said it would look terrible. There was a few slice handed out, that's for sure. Aye, no, that looks absolutely unreal. The rear end of it looks class with the two tone too. Like I was just looking at it as you aye. turned around there. It was, aye. 
It's unreal. It's a beautiful car, mate. Uh, thanks, bro. Thanks. So, see anybody in Scotland that has an E30 or an old BMW, I recommend you take it straight to this man here because you've seen his yard, you've seen the quality of work he produces, yeah, thanks, and bro. Um, yeah, it's an absolute credit to you in the business. Oh, thank you. So, there you have it. It's not every day. Well, E30s are getting rare. It's not every day you get two ops ends of the spectrum out here, both absolutely unreal in their own way. Scott's is a fucking, that's an animal of a car. <laughs> I genuinely wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be as fast as, as it was. And like, when's the last time you've seen a two-tone E30 looking like that? Like, both of these cars are magnificent their own way. So I say thank you very much, boys, for coming out. Yeah, um, I'm sure we'll see you again. And like I said, if you've got an E30 or an old BMW, get it down to E30 Street because this is the quality of work they're producing. But I'm on. Thanks for coming out, boys. Hey, bro. Pleasure. That's us. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>